good morning children every smile every loving word and every kind action is a reflection of the beauty of your soul wish you a lovely morning always students last class we have learned about class which class say all of you yes class reptilia and class amphibia yes take the assignment choose the best answer read the first question dance transforms into adult in frog is tadpole second one dash are the first four legged vertebrates say the answer reptiles good reptiles respire through dash lungs crocodiles have dash chambered heart four Amphibians have dash chambered heart. It's good. Three. Now we are going to learn about the next class. Yes. Yes means what? Birds. Birds are homeothermic animals. what is homeothermic warm blooded animals what is warm blooded animals they cannot change their temperature according to the surroundings cold blooded they can change their temperature according to the surroundings they have several adaptations to fly Birds are spindle shaped or boat shaped. The body is spindle shaped or boat shaped. The body is divisible into divided into head, neck, trunk and tail. the body is covered with feathers next one four limbs are modified into wings four limbs are modified into wings for flight next one thin limbs are modified into are adapted for walking perching and swimming they are adapted for walking perching and swimming yes listen children four limbs are modified into wings for flight then hind limbs are adapted for walking perching and swimming what is perching used to sit on the branch of a tree used to sit on the branch of a tree respiration through lungs which have air sacs respiration through lungs which have air sacs bones are filled with air bones are filled with air so we can say that pneumatic bones pneumatic bones listen children bones are filled with air 
so we can say that pneumatic bones which reduces the body weight they lay eggs they lay eggs eggs are covered by hard calcareous shell example say all of you say the example parrot good crow good eagle yes pigeon yes etc listen children look at this hens chick the body is covered with feathers see the feathers four limbs the four limbs are modified into wings for flight the hin limbs are adapted for walking perching and swimming hin limbs see the hin limbs the bones are filled with air next class mammalia mamma means breast yes what are the characteristic features mammals are warm blooded animals they are warm blooded animals the skin is covered with hairs skin is covered with hairs it also bears sweat and sebaceous glands skin bears sweat and sebaceous sebaceous glands sebaceous means what oil glands the body is divisible into head neck trunk and tail females have mammary glands females have mammary glands the mammary gland secretes milk for feeding their young ones next one the external ear or pinna is present external ear or pinna is present then heart is four chambered four chambered heart heart is four chambered two auricle and two ventricle respiration through lungs respiration through lungs all mammals give birth to young ones so we can say that viviparous viviparous means they give birth to young ones and feed their young ones with their milk so we can say that viviparous oviparous means they lay eggs except some of the animals we can say that platypus and spiny and eaters platypus spiny and eaters diagram cow take a fair note all of you draw the diagram cow draw the tail
Brother Khan, Vinna, I, draw the legs, draw the four limbs, Head limbs, Yes. Now you mark the parts. Head. Tongue. Tail. Neck region. Forelung. is draw the cow children yakling mammals example platypus and spiny anteaters these egg-laying mammals, we can say that the example platypus and spiny anteaters, except these egg-laying mammals, all other mammals give birth to their young ones. That is viviparous. The next one, placenta. The placenta is the unique characteristic feature of mammals. What is placenta? Placenta provides oxygen and nutrients to the Growing baby and removes the waste products from baby's blood. That we can say that placenta. Now you say the examples is cow, rat, man also. Okay. Yes. So far we have learned about class A's. Birds are warm blooded animals. The spindle or boat shaped body is divisible into head, neck, trunk and tail. Bones are filled with air, pneumatic bones. Then class mammalia. Mammalia are warm blooded animals. The skin is covered with hairs. The external ear or pinna is present. Placenta is the unique characteristic feature of mammals. Children, you have to learn about class Aves, class Mammalia and draw the diagrams also. Thank you children.